So you mentioned, I saw you tweet also that in 2013, we're getting Machine Gun Kelly on MGK. Yeah. Man, you know, MGK, I feel like, was a person that, you know, I, I was one of the motherfuckers I believe I didn't change when I got signed at all. You know, I believe that I actually have one of the most consistent sounds in hip-hop as far as an artist growing. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously any, everyone's sound is going to mature. So, like, usually when their sound matures, you just lose the audience completely because you're just like, oh. Because you get on some different shit, you know what I'm saying? You go through a lot more shit in life. But I always keep the same formula on every project I do. And uh, But still, I felt like as a person, though, and this is something the fans wouldn't know, but as a person, like, after I signed my deal and, like, you know, got you know, the industry kind of like engulfs you and, and sucks your soul out and shit, or tries to, you know, that's when the Machine Gun Kelly kind of went away and MGK just came. And MGK, I feel like it's just the professional, bland, like, you know, like there's no there's no soul or substance in him, you know what I'm saying? But no one would know that because I was still putting my heart in everything. And it doesn't, it didn't come out in the songs, you know what I'm saying? But as a personality, you know, Machine Gun Kelly is back. And I, that's, that's that motherfucker that doesn't give two fucks of a fuck about anything or anyone. So I'm here to say what I got to say. And, and put on for my motherfucking squad, and we out here. So I saw you say that you're releasing a mixtape. Yeah. Tell me about that. So, um, I mean, I, I, I don't want to reveal the name yet, but I, I'll tell you that I'll, I'll give you an exclusive and tell you the first single got a uh, Meek Mill and Pusha T on it, and they, 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 it's called Peso, and uh, people knew me and Meek were working on a joint called Peso, but uh, Pusha, you know, reached out. And or we reached out to Pusha and Pusha, re, uh, you know, reached out back and we, we linked up and got that done. So the first joint is called Peso with me, Meek Mills, and King Pusha. Wow, wow. Yeah. Who produced that? Uh, these guys named Bird and Keys produced it. And, uh, you know, I threw I threw a crazy sample in there. Like I was in the studio and I was like, oh, I should put in, you know, I just I, th I threw this sample in there uh, after it was all done. And it's just motherfucker, it's, it's a joint that makes you want to get up and just, you know, get up and go to work. Can you reveal the sample? Um, I need dollars, dollars, dollars is what I need. I need dollars, dollars, dollars is what I need. I be going hard for that. Pfft, peso, peso, dude, crazy. I know you were in the studio with Wiz. Right? Yeah, we were there till like six this morning. What were you guys working on? Um, well, I actually, I, I actually went there to, I actually just went there to smoke, honestly. Me and Wiz have like a more friendly relationship than a music relationship, you know what I'm saying? So when you were in the studio, we may just not be doing anything. So I mean, like, you know, he was drawing this one character named Dennis Dennis, and I was just rolling up hella dubs, and we, you know, were just smoking. We ended up doing a song, though, me, him, and Chevy. And uh, I was playing in the tape, though, and we were smoking, and he was like, holy fuck. I have to fucking get on this tape. Like that was, a, and me and Wiz had never worked on music before, because we were always just homies and shit for maybe like three years. But like when I played on this tape, he was like, "Yo, we could, man, I'll do." It was like five in the morning. He's like, "I'll do some shit right now, motherfucker, to get on this tape." You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just really stoked on everyone's opinions of it, man. I feel like I almost got dropped from my label damn near, and like just felt like this hunger that I haven't had in a long time, and I just put it into words, you know what I'm saying? And that was all, you know, obviously I'm still a bad boy in Interscope, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, that's how, that's how I was feeling. I was just feeling mad disconnected. Not for any reason, you know what I'm saying? But just, I just was. I just felt like I wasn't, I wasn't a problem in the game yet. And now I feel like, goddamn, I'm so, I'm so fucking stoked on this tape.